guys, I'm Stevie. How you doing? Scared? Correct. Things are really weird right now. So if you're a little scared, it means you're aware. That doesn't mean that you have to have regularly scheduled panic attacks though. Oh, sorry, one second. Ah! Oh. <laughs> He was like, what's going he on? hated that. So one of the most important parts of this weirdness is self-isolation. Really though, self-isolation is crucial in flattening the curve. And I'm all about flattening curves. My ass goes back inside of me. <laughs> So hi, this is a message from your resident work from home disabled friend with chronic fatigue and PTSD. I know what you're thinking. Stevie, stop bragging. But I do have experiences that are kind of relevant in a pandemic. Also, I'm a triple cancer, so fuck you. So step one, acknowledge your feelings. Look, not to be dramatic, but being dramatic is really fun. Right now, the whole world is exploding. This is a stressful and traumatic time, so it will have a serious effect on your whole ass body and brain. Allow yourself to have a meltdown or multiple meltdowns. If we were in the middle of an apocalypse, I would make a multiple orgasm joke right now. Deluding yourself into thinking this is fine is not a good coping mechanism. When you lie to yourself, it should be about something fun. Like, I should definitely spend $300 on this tabletop herb garden. I need it. Don't push your emotions away. Acknowledge and feel them in their entirety and that'll look different for everyone. For me, it's uh, scheduling an alarm on my phone to have a panic party. Ah! For you, it might be scheduling a depressed disco or a PTSD jamboree, or maybe your meltdowns can't operate on a schedule. Acknowledging your feelings might make you cry or scream or poop, much like this coffee. Maybe you'll do them all at once, which is a sight to behold. You have reference for that. Pod of crying, screaming, and pooping all at once. What about it? Don't you have some stories about that <laughs> that you can share with the world? Yeah. Uh... And once it's over, you'll be living in reality, I guess, is what we're calling this now. Instead of pretending the world isn't on fire with equal parts disease and paranoia. I'm pretty sure that's better, right? Step two, socialize and connect with the world. Just because you're socially distanced. Doesn't mean you can't socialize distantly. My friend Taha pointed out to me today that there are some people who don't have any internet friends? What the fuck? I didn't know those people existed. Most of the people that I love and care about are never in the same place as me, in the same town or country. Okay, chances are your friends and family are having a weird time too. Look at this as an opportunity to strengthen your relationship with others or yourself. Try a new hobby like growing a garden. I know I'm gonna. And then murdering your plants, cause life isn't fair. Or forcing people that you care about to do things for you. or promoting anarchy through the medium of art. Or maybe even, and this is a fun one, wash your goddamn hands. But all jokes aside, I find it really helpful to connect with something that matters to you spiritually. It doesn't have to be God. Everyone believes in something. You can believe in yourself or your friends or fucking Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Just try to connect with something that really matters to you. There's no reason you can't talk to people via this wonderful thing called technology. FaceTime or house party or Zoom has been great. Or there's always Skype if you're a boomer. Some of those things have games that you can play with each other or you can cook the same meal, beans and rice, anyone? And eat it together on FaceTime. You could even write letters. Let's turn this pandemic into a pandemic, am I right? Huh? Anyone? Step three, don't give up hope. Before the virus, lots of us used social media to escape from some of the more negative parts of life. But now with all the stress of the news, social media feels like less of a place you want to go to unwind. Does it feel like a job to you? It's like we're all influencers, but not all sponsors are as good as Adam and Eve, am I right? That's what this pandemic that people are dying from is like. This simile has no flaws. Lately, I've been doing nothing except for making unnecessarily elaborate meals and just thinking. The thinking is new for me. The elaborate meals, not so much. How many people are now making porn in quarantine? I want stats on that. I've been staring at a wall thinking about the people I love and imagining what we'd be doing together if we were in the same place. Probably elaborate meals. You don't have to be asleep to dream, which is only being made clearer by this nightmare. And you know what always makes nightmares better? 
sex toys. Step four, you guessed it, connect with your body. Absolutely everyone will be surprised to hear that my next advice is to stop having casual sex for a moment and instead masturbate. Hookups are fun, but they have to be done safely and right now it's impossible to make them safe. You don't want to get chlamydia and corona. Chlorona, come on. Chlorona. Your quarantine fuck list should only be your long-term partner or people you live with. So now would be the perfect time to get your roommate to join you and your partner. Think of how cute of a love story that would be. So how did you become a throuple? Oh, you know, everyone was dying, so. The two people I'm quarantined with are sisters, so we can't do that. But if you need a little more time for that sexual tension between you three to simmer, I've obviously got a suggestion for you to get it going on your own. And that's why this video is sponsored by Adam and Eve. They have such a massive range of toys, especially for solo play. They have vibrators, flashlights, butt plugs, nipple clamps, and dildos. Literally any kind of toy you want, Adam and Eve has it. To keep your lockdown time as spicy as a government mandated lockdown, go to adamandeve.com and use the coupon code Stevie for 50% off any toy and free shipping to the US and Canada. I got really distracted by a moth. There's a 90 day no hassle return policy and their packaging is super discreet when they ship to you. So that if your living situation in lockdown is a little questionable, like you're around people that like, you don't really wanna know that you're buying 17 butt plugs, you know what I mean? 20% of their profits go to fighting the spread of HIV worldwide, which is also just a nice little feel good moment and a not so feel good time. Thank you to our video sponsor for making this video possible. Step five. Get a baby. Just kidding. Actually, not kidding at all. Hey, no biting. Excuse me. Be nice. You'll get one. Don't worry. Sometimes I need to have a baby. And I know y'all think I don't mean literally. These are literally my children. I've birthed them. They are my babies. And it makes me feel better to pretend that. So literally fuck off. <laughs> Actual step five though is self-compassion and self-care. When I have something to take care of, it helps remind me that I also need to take care of myself. The biggest piece of advice I have for practicing self-compassion is to not judge yourself. Food, work, emotions, sleep, none of it. You're just doing what it takes to get by. If you're able to, doing little workouts can boost your brain's happy chemicals. But if you can't or don't want to, that's totally fine too. There are plenty of fun activities you can do right now. Like painting your nails all a different color. Look at that. Or painting your nails one normal color, like a boring person. I don't know, you do you. Also, side note, it's totally okay to gain weight in this time if you want to, or if you just do. And also it's totally fine to gain weight at any time. Don't let influencers who are struggling to figure some kind of content to make in this time, make you feel bad about your fucking self. You also can do some of those 69 workouts to do that scream, hey, look, I'm better than you. You can totally do those videos. You can totally do those workouts if you want. Or don't. I'm sure as fuck not going to. This is a completely weird and new time for all of us. And doing things like working home and eating comfort food if you want to might result in a little weight gain. Or literally doing exactly the same thing might result in some weight gain. Who the fuck gives a shit? It's more than okay to gain weight during this time or literally any other time. It's more than okay for anything to happen in your fucking body at this time. Literally, fuck everyone that tells you otherwise. Step six is to seek joy and gratitude. And I know that sounds so mommy vlogger of me, but it is very important. Do shit that makes you happy. Big shit, little shit, medium sized shit. Some shit that makes me happy is picking flowers and displacing them from their homes and then adopting them as my own children until they die in my kitchen. <laughs> I hate nature. <laughs> She's gay for this. Um, punishing the ground with my feet. That's a stupid way to say walking, but punishing food with my mouth and also doing it along with other people or punishing people I care about with my dancing and then forcing them to dance for me because I can't dance for that long. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please practice a little bit of gratitude. Tell me in the comments what makes you happy. It could literally just be a smell. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. No, seriously, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much to my wonderful patrons for making this possible. And See you next video, bye!